Howdy cowdies, weekly walk about time with the collector, hope you're going good, hope you're staying dry, hope you backed the winner yesterday, didn't even watch the race, don't even know who won, there you go, we've got some good stuff in the auction, amber beads, a couple of nice Georgian silver berry spoons over the back, some nice watches, nice silver full hunter, some kiss trading cards, some nice sort of glamour girl and pin-up girl swap cards, and there's lots of silver jewellery and stuff as well. Nice little deco smoker stand with the green sort of mirrored top. Nice little sort of tripod vice table. There's a nice little sort of Sheraton style chairs with the inlaid backs. And these nice little Victorian table there with the bobbin turn sort of rail under the top. Kind of like this as well. Nice little corner cupboard. Oak. It's come from Hollyhocks Cottage in Cambridgeshire in England. There you go. Apparently Nick Kershaw used to live there. Eh, I, reckon he, I reckon that's his coffee cup stain up there. <laughs> it's a nice little corner cabinet. We like him. What else have we got? Some records. Mixed Lot Spandau Ballet. Commander Cody. Crash Craddock. Richard Harris, some corning wear, Macasa cups, got some cool clothes and nano rugs, Ford dust coat with a sew on patch, a couple of old Star Wars shirts, some sporting apparel, one of the gridiron tops has fallen off, but that looks like an old footy jumper, a rugby jumper maybe, these trackies are pretty damn cool with the zip up bottoms. Some cool retro men's shirts. This green one with the sort of applied gold. It's pretty amazing. Made in New Zealand. That little one's a cracker too. And these are all sort of car racing and rip curl and other sort of heavy winter coats and jackets and caps and stuff. Big oriental screen. Just needs some more pins through the hinges. Two boxes of Scooby-Doo stuff. All sorts of gear. Cool little light up sign. Bowls, umbrellas, posters, and footy ephemera, large lot of German uh, punch set, couple of steins, a 116 scale remote control off-roader, petrol, op petrol motor in it. There you go, hot. Some games, some golf clubs, a little lot of Australian pottery, a little Chris Sanders dish is nice, but there is a little chip out of the rim of it somewhere. There it is. What else have we got? Lawn bowl set, some motoring books, print, Mercedes, Gullwing, some more books, some brass lamps, Papa Giuseppe umbrella. <laughs> Take that thing to the beach. You'll have people coming up asking for pizza. Cool lot of lamps and light fittings, nice retro ones. Big lot of phantoms, some leather satchels. This is the rip of the old 1950s Stamco dual action mono control washing machine. Absolute ripper. Two boxes with the sort of white china dinner sets. Nice lot of records. Big lot of crystal. Big lot of records. Big lot of stemware. Some nice HO gauge model railway gear. Linen. Toys. Matchbox. Barbies. There you go, the old Collingwood Magpies footy bag. Oh, it's just branded Magpies. It's pretty cool with a little plaque as well. It's in good condition from the 1970s. What else have we got? There you go, a whole lot of China floral bouquets. This is a good lot of Huckleberry Hound stuff. There's game boards and blackboards and heaps of comics and stuff. Nice little collection of boxes. Some cool comic books. What else have we got? A nice little acoustic guitar in its case. A heap of boxing magazines from the 1950s. This is pretty cool. A big sort of spinning wheel there. Supposedly it's um, an Afghan spinning wheel. I kind of like this little parrot-shaped sort of handle on the end. Nice old Ericsson wall mount telephone. He's in schmick condition. The original handpiece and everything like that. What else have we got? Some nice paintings and stuff. More Barbie dolls, swap cards, jewellery. TV weeks. Really nice little oil by Max Middleton. Somewhere near Warwick and Queensland. 
Good little thing. Nice and hilly out that way. This is nice, the oil painting of the man fishing on the Buckland River. It's just signed Jones, lower left. C. Jones Verso. Couldn't find much out about the artist, but nice thing. This is a nice bit by Brad Boyd. I think he's no relation to the Boyds, but he can paint. And the Mika Cohen, nice big etching and aquatint. It's a nice bit as well. Cool lot of Lassie books, mainly Whitman TV novels. Really nice Gladstone bag there. We've got with an art glass vase, some mixed comics and ephemeras. A cool lot, again, of all the Huckleberry Hound stuff. Quick Draw McGraw, Huckleberry Hound records, prints. There's even some birthday plates. Big lot of Lassie gear, some Australian records, cool mix, a lot of comics, Mighty Mouse, more Lassie. Nice a lot of Australian pottery. A couple of cool records, some retro ceramics. This little African vase is pretty cool. Um, big lot of Simpsons comics, Australasian Post magazines. This is a cool little lot of toys. You got Rainbow Bright, Cabbage Patch Kid stuff, and Grug books. Go Grug. Records, Led Zepp, Nina Hagen. Hey, hey, what's going on here? Someone's been rearranging the Lassie display items. There you go, you got three of the dogs, you got the car, and you got little Timmy. It looks like he's stuck in a well. <laughs> You've also got this little fan photo with the facsimile paw print. I've actually got one later on with the original Lassie paw print on it. Huckleberry Hound Nightlight and this cool little sort of plastic uh, wall plaque. You got an early, I think it's Midge. Nice lot of jewellery, vintage Star Wars and G.I. Joe. A couple of pretty cool vintage Lassie soft toys. This one's got its tag and its original collar. There you go. What else have we got? More comic books. You got a part of a railway destination roll. A couple of nice stoneware crocs and bottles from Richmond Ginger Beer and the South Melbourne Lloyd & Co. That's a couple of Lassie Daybill posters in there with the matching record and some other bits. Nice old cased sextant. Uh, Victoria Illustrated. Some more good comics. Sort of mid-century aluminium and pewter. Don Sheil. Matchboxes. Luster Australian Pottery. Matchboxes. Crystal. Copper and Brass. That guy. Barware. Nice little lot of Australian ceramics and Australiana. Big lot of Masonic medals, some good Western comics, Studio Anna, Matchbox, more swap cards, Archie, Blondie, Jughead, more Matchboxes, cigarette cards in their albums, this is another cool lot of sort of ceramics, Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound stuff, a couple of cute little retro radios, some HO Gauge Model Railway, uh, Thomas, I think that's Percy. Um, Little Sydney Pottery with Eric Jacket. The Australian National Railways loco. You got Lassie comic books, more matchboxes, a Coke mirror and a riding crop that may have been used yesterday. Japanese Kokeshi dolls. You got some more cool stuff. Big lot of superhero comics. Australian women's mirror magazines. These are all Australian comics or comics illustrated by Australian artists. Some nice kids' books over the back. Wedgwood. Nice group of uh, little Sydney pottery. I think the plate over the back's got a crack through it, but the rest look to be in good condition. Miniature British military badges. Nice collection of EP and barware. Gunda. A couple of nice little Bambi sort of pots. There you go. Folio of Andy Warhol's Mickey Mouse. We've put that with the Ken Doan reference book. Two nice pairs of bookends, crystal boudoir lamp, two nice pairs of carnival glass items. You got this guy. Look at him go. Woo! <laughs> we got the crystal drink set, two Nao figures and another Spanish one. Nice Art Deco kettle. Some more little Sydney pottery items, all hand painted, mainly Aboriginal motifs. What else have we got? A really nice King's Pattern Cutlery set. Here's a ripper old Demijohn for ST Dalt, Glen Huntley Road in Caulfield. 
Really nice amber glass sort of deco hanging lantern. Really nice carriage lamp. The glass is damaged as you can see. Nice collection of the stoneware bottles and the McRobinson's jar. You got the Tonka truck. You got the Ertel Massey Harris tractor and the DC Comics version of the Bible. These are pretty interesting. These all the Armstrong cartoon books. All taking it out of the Germans and the rest. They're pretty cool. They're in good condition. Gunda. Nice pair of vases. Nice big Robert Knight and Scatterbrook pottery. Big sort of centerpiece bowl. Little Silvac Nomi. A couple of bits of silver. A couple of bits of Gunda. Ladro. I like the Gordon's gin ashtray. And there you go. This is a group of signed sort of Lassie fan photos and fan cards. And that paw print is original. <laughs> There's about five or six of them in there. But that's the only one with the paw print. You got the Lassie bookends with the Lassie wall pockets. Two more nice bits of Dalton. Clasone. You got the nice big Dalton jug. Nice big Gunda jug there with the cool handles. A uh, little Sydney pottery. Really nice sort of oval shaped wall plate. A pair of signed Tiffany candlesticks. The big Ladro Madonna. Nice Murano. Another big bit of Gunda and a nice little Merrick Boyd vase. I think it's dated 1923. Anyway, that'll do. Hopefully you saw th something you liked. Be good. See you guys tomorrow night.